So now that I've gone through the steps of setting up my FTP Dropbox, uploading my design, uploading my publishing profile, then the last thing I need to do is just to set up my automation tying them all together. I click the Setup Automation button and I'm brought to this screen which allows me to create my new automated task. Click Create New Automated Task and as you can see here first I'm prompted to what folder on the FTP Dropbox I'm interested in assigning this task to. This will mean that any PDF files that comes into this folder inside the Dropbox will be processed by this task. So as you can see from my account settings here at the beginning, I can only select the My Dropbox, which is the only one I've created. Since there are no directories on it at the moment, the first thing I'll do is to add a new directory. So we will call this um, My Folder, add a new directory, and we select it. So from now on, My Folder will be associated with the job I'm now creating and be the folder in where when I drop PDF files into it, they will be processed by the settings I've just uploaded. So we click Next Step. Now I select the template I would like to apply to this. As you can see, the system ships with several default templates, but I will take the one I just uploaded. I then select how my links should be extracted. Again, several default settings comes with the system, but I'll select the Cloud Publisher one that I just did. I click Next. I select the publishing profile that I would like to publish with. Again, I'll take the one I just uploaded. Click Next again. And now the only thing I need to do is to decide who needs to get notified. In this case, I'll write in my email address here, which could be my email at mydomain.com. And below I can set in up some more settings if I'm interested in receiving what we call a callback. On the system. This is primarily meant for customers who are doing um, API integrations. So if you're interested in integrating directly um, with the Emacs Studio Cloud Publisher API, then this functionality allows uh, you to be called back in your own web application by um, the Cloud Publisher when publishing is finished. I won't go into the details of that here, but you can contact us for more information if you're interested in building advanced integrations with the Emacs Studio Cloud Publisher. Now that I've set up my notification settings, and I'll just enable that my default user here also receives the notification when everything is done, I can click Next Step. I receive a summary of how my automation has been set up. I can see that it's watching my folder on my Dropbox. I can see that I'm using the Cloud Publisher template, link extractor, and publishing profile, and that my user account, techatpapier.com, and this email that I specified will be notified when processing is finished. So now I just need to name my automation. We will also call that Cloud, Pu Cloud Publisher. We'll call it Cloud Publisher Automation. And I click Create Automated Job. I'm notified that the job has been successfully created. And I'm taken back to the screen where I can now see all the settings of the job I just created. So now I have actually completed all the setup necessary to use the Cloud Publishing module. And this is where it gets fun, because now I actually don't have to log into the Cloud Publisher module to publish. I can do that directly from my desktop. If you go back to the Home tab of the uh, Cloud Publishing module, you will notice that I get overviews of uh, published PDFs on the system, as well as a list of the last publications produced. Since I've so far have published nothing through the module, then nothing's available here. Um, but I'll quickly walk you through the process of setting up um, a folder on your desktop using standard Windows FTP integration. Uh, I'll show you how to publish a publication using the Cloud Publishing Mod. To get started with this, I'll just go back into the Setup FTP Dropbox settings. This is just to remind me this, of the settings I used when I created my FTP Dropbox. Then, when on a Windows computer, I simply click the Start menu, open the My Computer tab, and as you can see here, I have some different options at the top. I select the option called Map Network Drive. What this allows me to do is actually to connect directly to an FTP server using the Windows Explorer. So now I need to use the data that I created before. First of all, I select to connect to a website that can, you can use to store documents and pictures as it says in Windows. Then I'm taking through what's called the Add Network Location Wizard. To begin with, I just click Next. I choose a custom network location, and now I need to type in the data 
for my Dropbox on the web. So in here I say FTP and then I type in my login and I put in a colon to represent that uh, now I'll be adding my password. Then I'll type in my password which was the password I've selected for the account. I'll put in an at, just like an email address, to say that now I'm giving up, giving the location that I want to log into. And I'm typing in portal.emacsstudio.com. So this is all it takes. FTP, colon, dash, dash, my login, colon, my password, at portal.emacsstudio.com. I click the next button, and I give an F my folder shortcut here name so in this case I'll call it uh, my Dropbox next and I'm asked if I want to open this network location so I do that and now you can see the network location that I created that's opening in Windows Explorer and the my folder that I set up with my automated job is available inside that now the only thing I need to test my automation is a PDF file so I'll go into the Windows Explorer. I'll take the PDF file I used for testing on my template before, and I'll simply drag and drop it onto the folder that is associated with the automation. Now all I need to do is wait for the PDF to register on the Cloud Publisher, and I'll be able to see it run through the system. So I'll go back to the Publisher here. I'll click the Publishing Overview. Um, I can now go to the Pending Processing tab. As you can see here, the Publishing Overview consists of three tabs. Successful, this is Emacs that have already been published. Pending Processing, Emacs that are currently being processed. And Error, Emacs that for some reason could not be published. So I'll just go to the Pending pu Processing tab here, refresh it, and now you can see that the file I just uploaded has been added to the Cloud Publisher automation I created before. And you see the size in megabytes, the date it was added, and the status of it. I can refresh the list, and now all I need to do is wait for it to go through the system. As you can see now, the status has been changed to pending rendering. And of course, it's important to say that the whole point of the Cloud Publishing system is that you don't have to watch this. You upload your PDF files by dragging them onto your hot folder or your drop, FTP Dropbox, and from there on everything is automated. As you can see now, my PDF is no longer on the pending processing list, which means I should be able to find it on the successful list. And now you can see my PDF has been published using the automation I set up. It's been completed with no error, and I now get a link to the final publishing location of the PDF. So if you click that, then you can see that my Emacs opens, and the design settings that I defined in Emacs Studio are applied to the final output. And now it's really just a matter of putting through all the PDFs that I would like processed with the settings I defined in Emacs Studio. What I can also do is that I can go into my email inbox, which I have here, and you can now see that I've received an email from opm at emacsstudio.com telling me that my PDF has been successfully processed and that I can access the Emac at this location. This is everything I will be demonstrating about the Emacs Studio Cloud Publishing module today. I would suggest that if you are interested in trying out our Cloud Publishing module or our Emacs Studio Global License, that you get in touch with our sales team regarding getting a trial set up for you to test the module. Thank you for listening.